My name is Edith Hutchins. I am the owner and operator of Pure Play Child Care and we provide child quality child care for families. We do zero to five, so our youngest that we can accept is a newborn. Um, and we have accepted an eight week old, so it's been a very busy process and we go all the way up to kindergarten. Each uh, centre has five classrooms. Each centre also has three baby classrooms and then two three to five year old classrooms. We have about 200 children enrolled between the two locations. We keep it very positive. We don't want the children's eyes to be everywhere, so we want to keep it very simple. We want it looking very clean, very bright, a very positive atmosphere. We're an inclusive centre. We emphasize play, so we learn through play. Um, we're not academic, so it's a different style where we allow the children to explore. We open open-ended questions. You know, we ask those open-ended questions. Nothing is wrong. It's how they see it in, in their eyes. Because we want everybody to come in and feel welcome, and we want them all to have a great day. You know, not every day will be great, but you know, there's always tomorrow. The next day may be great. At a young age, I started um, babysitting for family members, and then I knew at that time I wanted to. I was from a large family, I wanted to have children. And, you know, at 19, I started working, and then I had a child, and I wanted to expand from there. So, when I graduated high school with honors, um, I was more inclined to getting a job opposed to a career. So, I worked various jobs. <laughs> I worked at Bud Master Bakery, I worked at a chocolate shop, I chicken catched, I did lots of wonderful things. I needed a car at the time, so I did interesting jobs. And then I found my path through um, working with glass. So, I was a, a glass cutter, a glass temper oven operator, as well as um, um, making windows and shower doors. So, that's kind of, that's where my workforce of that sense kind of ended. I decided that it's not really what I wanted to do because I wanted to have a family and to work and have a family is very hard, especially with money. Um, my husband and I decided that I'd go back to school. I went back for ECE and that would allow me to open a business in our house that we just bought so I could create a daycare in the basement and still have my children attend and watch other children and love what I do and get paid for it. I bought a Fraser Health book to open a daycare, uh, it's a licensing book to open uh, in-home multi-age daycare at home and you follow the guidelines through it and you're able to create the space within your house. My motivation for moving from my house to a group centre or owning it out of my house was one, my children were old enough now that they're all in school, my children are no longer younger. Um, two was I was kind of outgrowing, I wanted to be around more people because when you work on your own, it's just me and the children. Seven years, I kind of wanted a little bit more interaction with other people and I wanted to grow what I love. Near the end of my home centre where I wanted to expand, um, we started looking for locations. Um, as from the first learning experience, it takes time. You need playgrounds, um, parking, staff. We had to meet a lot more requirements. Um, first was finding the location and finding the location and then following through the steps of the next process to get it moving forward. Mm -hmm. My financial institution was um, TAC. They gave me look, um, uh, money for three of my locations, the first location at my home center, as well as my two group centers. I didn't go to school for running a business, so I learned it, the ins and out, all on my own, and it was a long process. My home center, I didn't go through any really permits. I went through the city, I just applied for a license. It was straightforward because it was a smaller center. Moving to from eight children to 78 children is a bigger process because um, the city gets more involved, there's more components, there's more classrooms, square footage for children, um, all those things. and. It's more, I, I didn't have a book on how to do it, so it was a very long learning curve for me because there's no book. <laughs> it's just something you've got to read through and follow this, figure out the steps on your own and see what you need to do. It was a pretty large project. <laughs> when it came to the group center, I'm very ambitious. I wanted to, I wanted to save money because I wanted to make money, so I was trying to save money, but um, we had to do a lot of the work ourselves the first time and it took long hours. We spent many days there building and then when we opened the second one, we learned that, you know, we can spend a little bit more to have a little time and have somebody else do it. 
<laughs> it can be challenging some, some weeks. Um, certain months, um, it can be challenging just because of the seasons changing and enrollment changes. So it's hard to balance life at that point. Um, also just when it comes to billing of the month, that's a little intense, but I try my best to balance it all out and actually share the responsibility with the people that I hire to do that as well, feeling confident they can do it. So it's a little less on my plate and more on, on other people's plates now. You have to wear many faces throughout the day. Um, even if your personal stuff is bothering you, you gotta check it to the door and push through and get what you need done for the day. It's hard, but those, you know, it makes you stronger. That's why I look at it, it makes you stronger. And also having young daughters myself, it also shows them to be strong as well. And like, you know, there is gonna be trying moments where you want to break, but you can push through it. Just gotta breathe through it. <laughs> Oh, the benefits are I'm still working long hours, but um, I get a lot of downtime with my family still and be able to do stuff with them. Another one is also seeing all these little ones that have started with us, been with us for a year, their growth and how happy the families are. I actually enjoy watching everybody walk in and asking them how they're doing and when they leave I always like to say have a great day, we'll see you later today. Just it kind of gives everybody a nice something to carry with them throughout the door. I'm proud of being able to raise my family at home and enjoy that time. I'm just happy to be where I am. I really enjoy what I do. I'm happy to expand and move forward.